If we had a project here with a pink primary color and a blue secondary color in the same way that we do right now, we can see with the accessibility tab over at material.io slash color that black text would not be legible if it was a normal size, but it would be legible at a large text size. Whereas the white text would be legible in both large and normal text sizes. As we look at our blue, we can see that the white text is not legible at either large or normal text size, but the black text is. This means we're dealing with different contrast ratios and we might want to implement our own contrast ratio rules. How do we do that inside of Ionic? Well, I'm going to make a new sample project called contrast. And from within this, we're going to look at implementing this pink and blue with the black contrast text. So I've run Ionic start contrast blank and that will start a new project named contrast. And when the dependencies have installed, we'll look at implementing this inside of the project. So within this project, I'm going to run Ionic serve to start this in the browser and open this up inside of Visual Studio Code. So the first thing that I'm going to do is head over to our home page at home.html and I will change the title to contrast demonstration. And inside of our content, I'm going to add an ion fab, a button with the ion fab attribute, the color of secondary, and inside of the button, we'll have an ion dash icon and the icon name of add. We'll put this fab at the bottom right. And if we take a quick look at what our project looks like, I'm using Ionic Lab for this, then we can see our application mirrors what we saw on the material.io site. Let's now change these colors to reflect this. Our primary color is this pink. And inside of our theme variables, we can change the color of our primary color. And our secondary color can be this blue. In order to give the nav bar that color of the pink, we can say color primary. And we get our nav bar color of pink and our fab button color of blue. But you'll notice that our blue does not have that black contrast as stated on material.io. So let's fix that. And we can fix this by adding some parentheses around our secondary and setting the base color to the blue and adding a secondary contrast. Now we don't have to search for any other colors. We can just simply set the contrast to black. And if we take a look at this inside of the browser, we can see the contrast color for our blue fab button has now turned black. Ionic does perform some contrast checking itself and we'll look to change this. But if we want to be 100% correct with the material guidelines, we can of course change that color. The same of course applies if we select a 500 color for our pink. We do find that now we have this problem where we can't use the white text. The white text is not legible at a normal size, but it is legible inside of a large text size. But if we take a look at the user interfaces mockup, we can see that Google themselves still use a black color for this text. If we change our primary color to instead be that pink, pink 500, we can add a base color once again for this and a contrast. And at the moment, I'm going to set this to black once again. And if we take a look, we can now see that pink with that black text. It's a good idea to follow these accessibility guidelines. And of course, if you do want to add your own contrast, this is how you do that. 